Hello friends, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to my channel. Today I like to share one Maths Olympiad question from algebra. Better, I can say number theory. Here the question is solved. 3 raised to the power m plus 7 is equal to 2 raised to the power n when m and n are positive integers. So if you will observe it and you will think for some time, you can say that m is 2 and n is 4. Most of us can say it, but in Maths Olympiad, you have to show the process, you have to show the logic and you have to show the reason. So let us start. So here we will take the help of residue modulo. That is a concept in number theory. Residue modulo means I can write 4 is equivalent to 1 modulo 3. That means when 4 is divided by 3, we get the remainder. 1. Similarly, I may write 2 is equivalent to negative 1 modulo 3. Means when 2 is divided by 3, I can write 3 1 times 3 and negative 1 is residue here, reminder. So I am applying this one. Why will apply? I will apply to show m and n are even numbers. Then only I can apply the shortcut method which most of the uh, videos in YouTube you are finding that is a very short method of getting m and n. Now coming to left side. Left side is 3. 3 is equivalent to 3 is equivalent to your 0 mod 3 0 modulo 3 that means when I divide 3 with 3 I get remainder 0 same thing 3 raised to the power n is equivalent to 0 raised to the power n modulo 3 so this is nothing but here equivalent to 0 modulo 3. Now coming to 7, 7 is equivalent to 1 modulo 3. What does it mean? If I divide 7 with 3, I will get remainder 1. So from this 2 I may write 3 raised to the power m plus 7 is equivalent to 1 modulo 3 and once you understand you can directly write this line instead of skipping this all these lines for making under, you understand I am writing all these things if we are starting this or we have forgotten this concept we may go in this way now coming to right hand side right hand side is 2 raised to the power n 2 is equivalent to negative 1 modulo 3 as I have written on the right side. Means 2, 3, and get 3, 1, 3, I am getting negative 1. So I may write this one. Now 2 raised to the power n is equal to minus 1 to the power n into modulo 3. Next, next is since left hand and right hand it is given in an equation, this is your right hand side, this is your, sorry, this is your left hand side, this is your right hand side. So when they are equal, given an equation, that means minus 
1, negative 1 to the power n is positive. Positive 1. What does it mean? It means that n is even number. So n is even number. Now let when it is even let n be twice k. k is an integer. When n is twice k, I write 3 raised to the power n plus 7 is equal to 2 raised to the power 2k. That will be 4 to the power k. Next. Next is 4 raised to the k minus 7 is equal to 3 raised to the power n. Again, I am applying this residue modulo. What is it? Now, see the left hand. 4 raised to the 4 raised to the power k is equal to 0 modulo 4. 7 is equivalent to minus 1 modulo 4. Writing here how it is. 7 sometimes we have confusion. 7 divided by 4. I can write 4 to the 8. Negative 1 is the residue. So 4 to the per k minus 7 this is minus 1, sorry, is equivalent to, this is 0, minus, again this will be minus 1, 0 modulo of 4, minus, minus 1 modulo of 4. This is equal to 1 modulo of 4. So LHS is equivalent to 1 modulo 4. Coming to right hand side. How to write 3 using modulo 4? 3 is equivalent to minus 1 modulo 4. Now 3 to the power n is equivalent to minus 1 to the power n modulo 4. So since left hand and right hand are equivalent, that means 1 modulo 4 is equal to this. So minus 1 n is equal to 1. What does it mean? m is again even. So M is even, N is so even, I am taking M as that M is equal to 2P. So now let us, M is equal to 2 is P, then we will go back to the equation, the equation was, 3 to the power m plus 7 is equal to 2 to the power m. We took m is equal to twice p and n is equal to twice k. So I am transferring this equation in this way 2 raised to the power n minus 3 raised to the power n is equal to 7 or 2 raised to the power 2 is k minus 3 raised to the power 2 is p is equal to 7 or this is equal to 2 to the power k raised to the power 2 minus 2 3 raised to the power p to the power 2 is equal to 7. Now this left side can be written as 
a square minus b square that is product of a plus b into a minus b. So, for k, 1's plus, 1's minus can be written as 7. So, when left side is product of 2, I write the 7 as product of 2 terms and 7 is prime. So, I will write 7 multiplies 1. Now, I will compare the bigger one with the bigger one. Positive. So, I am getting 2 raised to the power k plus 3 raised to the power p is equal to 7 and 2 raised to the power k minus 3 raised to the power 1. Then I will subtract to get the values. So, this 2 will be cancelled twice 2 to the power k raised to the k is equal to 8 or 2 raised to the power k is equal to 4. 4 means 2 raised to the power 2. So I am getting k is equal to 2. Same way, if I subtract this 2, I will get 2 raised to the power 3. 3 raised to the p is equal to 6 or 3 raised to the power p is equal to 3. 3 means can be written as 3 raised to the 1. So this gives me p is equal to 1. So a k is equal to 2. k is equal to 2 means m. m I have taken how much? 2 is p. So 2 p 2 into 1 is 2. And a is, n is equal to 2 is k. So 2 multiplies 2 that will be 4. So I am getting m is equal to 2. And this is the solution of this equation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel.